I'm sure you've seen guys go like, especially celebs, you know, the <laughs> big ones. So, someone stole my account. Oh, I've been hacked the other day. Kabrak University. Oh, hacked by, I don't know who. Someone stole our Facebook account. Oh, they're posting stuff on our behalf. There is, there is something called authenticator apps. <laughs> Let's talk about this stuff. Okay, we are going to be covering everything to know about 2FA, two-factor authentication, and why an authenticator app is crucial. So let's get started. First things first, what exactly is 2FA and why is it important? Two-factor authentication adds an additional layer of security to your online accounts by requiring two independent factors to verify your identity. The first factor is typically something you know, like your password. And the second factor is something you have, <laughs> such as a code sent to your phone via SMS or generated by an authenticator app. Now let's move on to setting up two-factor authentication. One popular authenticator app is Microsoft Authenticator. That's what I personally use, which offers seamless integration with various services. Let's use LinkedIn as an example to demonstrate how 2FA can be done using Microsoft Authenticator. So the first step will be to download the Microsoft Authenticator app from your device's app store and open it. Step two will be to open LinkedIn on your computer or even the mobile app and navigate to your account settings and look for the option to enable two-factor authentication. Step three is to select an option to use the Authenticator app for 2FA. LinkedIn will provide you with a QR code or some other kind of code that you'll actually need to input into your Authenticator app. So the fourth step will be to go back to Microsoft Authenticator on your phone and tap on the plus icon and add an account. So you'll have the option to either scan a QR code or actually input the code that you got from LinkedIn manually. And once you're done with that, I know you guys must know how to scan a QR code by just, you know, pointing your phone's camera to your screen and scanning the picture thing. <laughs> so once you're done with that, you'll find that LinkedIn has been added to your Microsoft Authenticator app. So Microsoft Authenticator will start generating time-based codes that you can use for 2FA when logging into LinkedIn. These codes keep changing, you know, with time. So fantastic, you've successfully set up Microsoft Authenticator for 2FA when accessing your LinkedIn account. And the process will be similar for most other accounts, profiles you have online, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever thing you'd like to use an Authenticator app for. And by the way, Microsoft Authenticator is not the only two-factor authentication app. There's other Authenticator apps like Google Authenticator, there's one called Authy, and they're available for both Android and iOS devices, so just choose one of them, whatever suits your test flavor. <laughs> okay. Let's delve into the reasons why using an Authenticator app is superior to relying on SMS for 2FA. There are many reasons, but the main ones are security, convenience, and device independence. Now first, let's talk about security. In the SMS-based two-factor authentication where actually like, you know, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, whatever sends a code to your SMS, so you use that code to log in. There is some security vulnerabilities that you need to know about. Hackers can exploit weaknesses in the SMS infrastructure and this is demonstrated by incidences like SIM swap scams in Kenya. You guys heard about that. Someone just goes to one of those M-Pesa Kibanda's shops and uh, by just getting a SIM card replacement, they gain control over your phone number and intercept SMS messages containing 2FA codes. So authenticator apps will eliminate this risk by generating codes directly on your device, making it significantly harder for hackers to gain unauthorized access to your accounts. Moving on to convenience, the authenticator apps provide a seamless user experience. Once set up, they generate time-based codes without the need for an active internet connection. Plus, you can store multiple accounts within one single authenticator app, so it eliminates the need to switch between different SMS messages or services, Safcom, Airtel, whatever you have. Lastly, device independence. Authenticator apps are tied to your device rather than a specific phone number or carrier. This means that you can switch devices without transferring your 2FS setup. If you lose your phone or you change your phone number, you simply just reinstall the Authenticator app to your new device and you re-add your accounts. 
So by opting for an authenticator app, you gain flexibility and freedom while ensuring the security of your online accounts. That concludes today's discussion on why an authenticator app for 2FA is the way to go. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful tech tips. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Remember, prioritizing your online security is crucial, and by using an authenticator app like Microsoft Authenticator, Google Authenticator, or Authy, you are taking a significant step towards protecting your valuable accounts. Let's not hear, you know, I got hacked, I got hacked, oh, someone took over my account, oh, blah, blah, blah. See you guys in the next one, and as always, no pressure.